Good morning, Brownsville! Good morning! We are back here at Brownsville, live, to bring you the pre-service! <laughs> we are back! Yes, we are live, and Brownsville doors are open, wait, wait, wait. and we're loud! Stop the video, we're here! We're I know, we're excited! <laughs> we're here, and we are in person! We're back! Yes, live! <laughs> <laughs> it feels like forever since we've been back, and we are excited that you guys are here with us this morning. We're happy the church doors are open. Yes, and we get to celebrate with all of you. I am so excited, so let's do the wave! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not a sporting event. <laughs> okay, well then let's do the Holy Spirit wave! <laughs> I love that everybody's doing it with you, but... <laughs> Why don't we talk about some important things that are happening this morning? All right, I guess, because she's always the serious one. So. Well, they wouldn't let you do this alone, so. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, first things first, welcome home, everybody. We're happy that you've joined us this morning. Yes, oh, I'm so excited. We're here in person. Yeah. And I just want to hug each and every one of you. That's actually the first thing we have to talk about today. There's no hugging. Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, well, I'm looking at you, Nora. She's our official hugger here at Brownsville, so I guess you yeah. can stop that. So. Well, she can be our official air hugger because there's no contact today. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, we'll have to air hug, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, also, we have hand sanitizing stations yeah. located at our entry points here at Brownsville. Yeah. Uh, we also have, if you don't have time to wash your hands, gross. Uh, we do have those hand sanitizing stations, but we do have the restrooms available uh, with people mandating those as well to make sure they're clean yeah. for you. Yeah, we also need to talk about social distancing today. Yes, I am so glad that we don't have to distance anymore while I'm socializing. I am very excited. Uh, I'm going to sit with you, Mr. JT, when this is over. Can I come <laughs> sit with you? Oh, thumbs up. All right. Well, actually, we have to talk about that, too. You can't just sit wherever. We have certain spots that are taped off, and we're letting families, you can sit together, but for the most part, we need to just make sure there's a little bit of space between everyone for safety. Okay, that makes sense. That's why there's this beautiful masking tape on all of our beautiful <laughs> pews. But what about this section over here? Yeah, that's our reserved senior seating. Ooh, yeah. that was very nice. It's I like know. our VIP section. You yeah. got to show... ID to your nearest bouncer, Pastor Terry, to get in over there. That's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you're high risk or senior, we have a special spot that's reserved, and we'll leave that up to your discretion if you want to sit over there, for sure. Yes, we also have a special entrance for high risk and yeah. senior VIPs uh, and parking for you as well. So I, I'm a little jealous. They're kind of getting the royal treatment. <laughs> the royal treatment, right? Yeah. That's we also, um, we want to talk about worship this morning and just some guidelines for that, that we're asking that you worship in your pews today. Yes. If you brought a flag or you have expressive <laughs> arm movements. Like Emily's demonstrating here. Uh, we ask that you do that safely in your pew. Just watch out yeah. for the people around you. Yeah. Uh, our, also, our dancing sections, <laughs> like your flight attendant for this morning, they are temporarily closed. Uh, so please just worship in your pew. Yeah. Look out for everybody. Also, look out for the cameras. We have some yes. new camera equipment here. I know. We've been watching online, and we're excited to be here in person, and we've upped our quality of our cameras. So those of you that are watching online, Emily will be chatting live. I'll be chatting live later, so you can let us know how is it looking online. Yeah, you got to keep us looking good. <laughs> now, tell me again, which camera is it that uh, takes off the 10 pounds? I think they say the camera adds the 10 pounds. Okay, well, that's not good. I shouldn't have had that donut this morning. <laughs> but I'm a busy mom. I've yeah. got to do that sometimes. So being a busy mom, I cannot wait until kids' church is open and I can drop off my kids. Where are my moms at? Can I get an amen? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> the mom stayed home. Well, the kids' church is actually a nursery. It's not open right now. We're not having it open. Oh, Grandma, yeah. I guess you're babysitting. <laughs> That's well, we're going to reopen soon, but kids just don't know how to practice social distancing. So um, we have kids' activity books and crayons at the entrances for you. Pastor has a special opportunity during the service that he's going to be doing for the kids. And Pastor Ben's doing a song this morning that the kids know in Kids Church. So if you're watching at home or you're here live, 
can participate. Yes, yeah. kids, we did not forget about you. Yeah. I'm a big kid at heart, so we kept <laughs> you in mind this morning. I can't yeah. wait for that. Now, there's a lot of things that we've gone over that you can't do here at Brownsville, but what can we do, Elizabeth? <laughs> Tell us what we can do. Okay, so online on Facebook, we have the kids or the parents Facebook group that kids can be part of. Also, there's the ladies Facebook group that you've been heading up, and it's been such a great spot for us to have prayer requests and just really connect with other women in the church. Um, also, Pastor has been doing Wednesdays in the Word, his live Wednesdays in the Word, but with Q&A, and that's been really, really great. Yeah, live, and live yeah. is very tricky, so I'm very impressed because he's been doing a really great job. Yeah. So great that I think I'm going to throw in a funny question for him because it's q and I'm going to ask him a really funny question. I'm going to throw him off his game. So Try to stump just, them. Yeah, tune in for that because that's going to be <laughs> hilarious. Also, um, Wednesday and Saturdays, we've been doing grocery giveaways in the morning here. So make sure you're aware of that too. Yes, Farm Share. Farm yeah. Share grocery giveaways. We have another one coming up. They just won't stop giving us groceries. So yeah. we will not stop giving it Praise out. Praise the Lord. Uh, June 6th. So mark your calendars. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, it's kind of like that uh, show on Food Network, Chopped, where they say, you know, open your baskets, please. <laughs> and here's what's for dinner, kids. But it's always good stuff, so we're excited. That's awesome. Excited for our grocery giveaway. Yeah, we, we love the opportunity to feed our community and our neighborhood and our church congregation. So if you need groceries, don't, don't go without. There's a lot. There's a lot that's coming. Yes. Well, we love to give away stuff. So, But let's talk about giving. Yeah. So we're having no contact giving this morning. So you can text to give with the number that's listed here. You can mail it in. Or there's also um, baskets at the doors. So you can give on your way out as well. Yes. Yeah. Located here and here. Yeah. And here. We are also, <laughs> we just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have faithfully been giving and tithing during this crazy time yeah. we just really appreciate it uh you guys are amazing and thank you for being so faithful watching us online uh we just we love each and every one of you and i'd hug you if i could but <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not allowed it's gonna be an amazing morning and we're excited to be here together thank you guys yes we miss you well without further ado <laughs> brownsville church presents a sunday morning Woo! Come on, why don't you stand up on your feet this morning? I don't know about you, but it's sure good to be in here with people. Can we lift up a shout of praise to the Lord? Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. Come on, somebody praise Him today. You're so good, Lord. You're so good. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Come on, put your hands together. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb till I made. Come on. I was breathing, but not alive. All my failures I tried to hide. It was my tomb till I fell. Somebody praise the Lord today. You called my name. Out of the darkness to your glorious day, oh, you called my name, and I ran out of that grave. Out of the darkness to your glorious day. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now your mercy has saved my soul. Yes, Lord. Now your freedom is all that I know. The old made a new. Hey. 
Jesus, when I met you, yeah, you called my name. One thing you can do is you can clap your hands. Come on, all across the room. If you're watching at home, somebody just give the Lord praise right there in your living room. Come on. I needed rescue. My sin was heavy. The chains break at the weight of your glory. I needed shelter. I was an orphan. You called me a sinner, sinner, baby. When I was broken, you were my healing. Your love is the air that I'm breathing. I have a future, my eyes are open. Cause when you call my name. Call my name Somebody shout for victory today. Somebody say, it's an open heaven, you're releasing and we will never be denied. Come on, let's stir it up today. Because we're stirring up deep, deep wells, stirring up deep, deep waters. We're going to dance in the rain. Somebody dance in the rain. We're stirring up deep, deep wells. Come on. Stirring up deep, deep waters. We're going to jump in. Somebody jump in the river. Deep cries out to, deep cries out to. Deep cries out to, deep cries out to. We cry out to, we cry out to. Dear Jesus. Oh, deep cries out to, deep cries out to. Deep cries out to, deep cries out to, we cry out to, we cry out to you, Jesus. Oh, I've got a river of living water, it's a fountain that never will run dry. Hey. Oh, it's an open heaven, you're releasing and we will. Never be denied. Come on, somebody stir it up today. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. Stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the rain. Come somebody on. dance in the rain. Come on, stirring up deep, deep wells. Yeah, stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the rain. Somebody jump in the rain. Deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus Oh deep cries out to deep cries out to 
deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus we are walking into deeper waters going after you we're falling we are falling into deeper waters calling We are walking into deeper waters, going after you. We're falling, oh, we are falling into deeper waters. We're calling, I'll tell you. All right, y'all ready for some fun this morning? We're going to try this. Now I want you to stay right there in your spot, but you're going to participate this morning. Are you ready for this? If it goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If it goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're going to dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. If it goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If it goes to the right, going to go to the right. We're going to jump, jump. Jump, jump in the river. Jump, 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 jump. Everybody, if he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, somebody shout this morning. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna shout. Oh, deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to. We cry out to we cry out to you. Oh, deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you, Jesus. Somebody shout to the Lord. Somebody shout to the Lord. Yeah. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Oh, you're so good, Lord. I search the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty prayers, treasures to fail, but never enough. You came along, Jesus. And you put me back together and Every desire is now satisfied Here in your life Sing, there's nothing better Oh, there's nothing yeah. better than you Oh, there's nothing better than you Oh, there's nothing hey. Nothing is better than you. Do you believe that today? I'm not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and flaws. Lord, you've seen them all. You still call me friend. Cause the God of the mountain is the God of the valleys. And there's not a place your mercy and grace will find me again. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Let's sing that again. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Do you believe that today? Oh, hallelujah. Hey. You 
It's a morning to dance You give beauty for ashes You turn shame into glory You're the only one who dance Sing that again You turn morning to dance You give beauty for ashes Turn shame into glory. Hey. You're the only one who can. You turn grace into God. You turn grace into God. Hey. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. There's nothing, come on church, better than you, Lord, there's nothing, yes Lord, better than you, Lord, there's nothing, come on somebody, nothing is better than you, let's sing that again, nothing better, Lord, there's nothing better than you, Lord, there's nothing. Than you, oh, there's nothing, hey. nothing is better than you. You turn grace, you turn grace into gardens, you turn bolts into armies, you turn seas into highways. Come on, you're the only one. Turn grace into God. You turn bones into army. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. You're the only one. of the Holy Spirit in this place but I can feel hallelujah God is so good it's so good church let's be honest in the middle of this chaos we are here worshiping the great I am the who is the Lord of all come on church that's really good that's really good and I want to just for a few seconds you can close your eyes just close your eyes for a second Lord thank you 
Thank you for the opportunity that we can be here together. Even with the six feet apart, whatever apart, but we are here as brothers and sisters together just to worship you because you are the great I am. No matter Corona, no matter anything, the world will say we're never going to stop to worship you because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of all. And you are, Lord, the one who makes the impossible. And there is no one better than you. There is no one, there is nothing, nothing better than you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this house to be open for us to get together. Thank you, Lord. Protect us. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. We give you glory. Oh, there is nothing better than you. Oh, there is nothing. Oh, there is nothing better than you. Oh, there is not, nothing is better than you. Come on, church, just lift up your voice and sing one more time. There is nothing. Oh, there is nothing better than you. Oh, there is nothing better than you. Oh, there is not, nothing is better than you. Hallelujah. Can you give God some praise, church? Can you give God some praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before you see it, I'm not going to ask you to give your handshake. I know. I'm sorry. And not hug. But you can look at your neighbor and give him a smile and say, okay, welcome to church. I miss you. You can look at your neighbor from far and say, I miss you. I miss you. Yes. Just say hi from far and now you can see it. Yes, it's so good. Amen, amen. Are you happy to be at church? Well, I, I don't know if you are that excited, but I'm going to ask one more time. Are you happy to be at church? Come on, guys. I always say is, is, um, it's good to be at church. Just the fact that we can see brothers and sisters, that we can get together and have a family reunion, let's say like this. So from me, I miss you guys so much. And it's hard for my culture not give you a hug, not give you a handshake. But believe me, when the coronavirus finish, I, I will do that for you. But if you cannot give me a handshake, it's okay. Um, um, you can send checks to me. No, just kidding. But um, I appreciate you guys and I miss you so much. Uh, of course... Uh, when you walk in, I want to say welcome, who is watching online. Come on, church, make some noise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so good that you're watching us online. Keep there. Um, uh, if you couldn't make here, I hope you can come next Sunday. We have six feet apart. We have alcohol and, uh, I mean, hand sanitizer. Sorry, church, church, church. Hand sanitizer everywhere. We are... <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't want to lose my job. So we have a no alcohol, just hand sanitizer. You cannot drink that, but you can uh, scrub your hands, and we have uh, everything to make you safe. So uh, Pastor Elizabeth already said we don't have kids' ministry, but it's fine. You can come with your kid, and uh, come on. When I was growing up, I didn't have kids' ministry, so I was spanking side of the church because my mom was like, be quiet right here. So I'm just kidding. You can be in your home, but please, if you can come, it will be awesome to have you. So we have some instructions here, um, uh, the social distance and all that. I don't need it to go there with you. I'm just glad that you are here. And also, um, we are back with a, a, a Portuguese service is going to be here in the sanctuary just uh, during the week, our uh, middle week. Uh, small groups we are going to hold a little bit there so uh, but I do believe we are going to be back soon can I hear one amen? amen can I hear one amen? amen we keep doing groceries we keep having pastors but um, um I have all the 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 um, things to say here but I want to say something out of here can I can I say something church I'm so proud of a person here that never missed uh if you guys don't believe we were almost coming here every week and preparing and, and having the tech side and i just would like you church if you can say a really welcome for our tech team 
Gabe, uh, Greg, and, and Catherine, and Flavor, and Emily, and Steve. Come on, church, you can be better than this. Come on, all these guys, they did an awesome job putting all this. And it's so good because we are excited to have you guys here. This place without you guys is just a place. And you guys make a whole different and the Holy Spirit's in this place. So before I, all, I, I ask Pastor, I just want to ask you one more time. Uh, this person that I would like to honor this morning uh, is the person that never uh, gave up on us. Even on this season, uh, we always, because you know, it's a lot of different mindset is, uh, but he always been here. One day I came and said, Pastor, go home. You are here since like two o'clock, one o'clock, and it's already eight. He said, mm -mm, I need to make sure <laughs> everything is good. And he was the hardest, did I say right? The hardest yeah. worker here in this place. Come on, can you shout out to our Pastor Horton? Come on, church. Come on, Pastor. Shoot. Come on, church. Give me, give me some praise. Come on. Yeah. I am so excited to be here. I, I walked in the back. Yeah, please sit down. I sit down. Sit down. <laughs> I, I walked through the back and it just hit me like, yeah. oh, I'm home. <laughs> That's what, worshiping online was wonderful. It's, it, they work so hard, these tech guys. I tell you, that praise is well deserved 10,000 times more to make everything work on camera, make it all come together. But Let there's something. Yeah, is we're it on. Not on? Now you're on. There you go. I just need to be louder. That's it. Pull it right up there. <clears throat> there you go. Now I lost my train of thought. Good to be home. It's there it's go. good to be home. And it's good <laughs> to be in the sanctuary. Yeah. To be in God's temple today. It's a pleasure. I think sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone until it's gone and there are some places that their churches are gone how many they estimated thousands that have gone out that yeah. have gone under yeah they haven't made it they haven't made it through this crisis because people have lost their jobs yeah. they can't give the congregation's small they can't pay the mortgage they've been foreclosed on but we're still standing we are standing and we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the sacrifice that you've made to continue right. giving because we've been able to pay some bills. We've been able to keep the staff on. Yeah. We've been able to give out farm share. Yeah. Groceries. Groceries, food, clothing. Amazing. It's been amazing. So the, the pastors haven't been taken on vacation, have they? <laughs> no. They've been working hard. They, they haven't had airtime so much, but they have all been working hard. Yeah. We've had groups online, and it's been it's been wonderful. Yeah. But boy, I'm looking forward to something better, aren't you? <laughs> it's going to be good. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Deborah. Um, Jean, thank you. It is good to be home, and uh, you know I. I didn't know uh, what it would be like to preach to a sanctuary without uh, you here. And I was surprised how God showed up and he was here. And there was an anointing here and there was a presence. And, and uh, it was interesting that Shirley Sen sent me an email Saturday night and she said, uh, you know, I believe that God's going to give you prophetic words for online as well. And sure enough, that's ex and before I read that, we had the service and I had prophetic words and then I read her email. I said, exactly what you said happened. It was, it was crazy. And um, we had a leaders meeting online, just share some fam church family stuff just for a minute, if that's okay. And um, we were on a Zoom conference call and uh, Shirley said this comment and said, you know, uh, are we gonna have, this is last week, are we gonna have someone at the church send Mother's Day, even though we don't have church to do drive-by to hand out roses? And I jokingly said to her, uh, well, that's a great idea, Shirley. So get some roses and be here next Sunday and hand them out. And we all laughed and we all nominated Shirley to do that. So a week ago yesterday on Saturday, the 9th before Mother's Day, um, there's a fellow on staff as a pastor at Liberty Church, Miguel, who's been helping us with security in our groceries. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And he's been volunteering and bringing some of his crew for security. 
And he called me Saturday morning or texted me at first, and then I called and talked to him. And uh, he said, you know, the church couldn't cancel their rose order for Mother's Day. And we've got flowers arriving at 6 o'clock tonight. And uh, if you want to hand them out, you can. I said, great, we'll take them. And I thought, isn't that interesting? And he said, uh, he texted me back and he said, well, it's not 125, it's going to be 225. And then he texted me again and he said, well, I just found out it's 300. <laughs> so, and then he said, and it's not going to be tonight, it's going to be this morning. So when we handed out groceries Saturday morning, we had 300 roses to hand out for Mother's Day. And isn't that God? It just does it amazingly and, and does that and provides. And when this whole thing started six, eight weeks ago, and I remember, and you, I've said this online so many times, that I heard the president's press conference on that Monday, the second sun, after the se third Sunday of, of April, and said, no groups greater than 10. And I just, I said right out loud, I said, well, Lord, that's it. We're, we're shutting down. And I'm thinking, how are we gonna, you know, can't stay alive, what's gonna happen, what are we gonna do? And, and I, I thought we're gonna have to lay staff off and we, I'm thinking what we could, how we could save money in order to keep things going. And, and I thought, well, well, we'll lay off all the custodians because we won't have the place, well, you won't be here. So we'll lay off custodians and we won't need as much maintenance and we'll save all that. And, uh, and then on Tuesday, we had a, a, our last staff meeting in person before we went to a Zoom conference. And, and I heard from some of the staff who said, we have our kids at home now and I planned on lunches and breakfast for our kids for spring break. But now the governor said there's no school till the end of May. I don't know how I'm gonna, or the end of April or for another week, I guess it was. I don't know how, we're gonna, how I'm gonna pay for that. And we're gonna have another week. And uh, then of course, as you know, school's now been canceled for the year. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you can't lay anybody off. You need to keep everybody. And so we did, and we kept everybody. And, uh, and it was just crazy. And I thought, we're shutting everything down. And so that was one thing that happened. So we kept all our staff, maintenance, custodial, everybody. And, and I wanna tell you, the, the, as Carlos said, the tech team and the custodial team and the maintenance team and the pastoral team have all been working hard. I mean, we've worked really hard. And we'll talk about the live stream in a minute, but um, I think, well, we better shut down the groceries because that's high risk. And again, the Lord really spoke to me and he said, you can't, people need this now more than ever. And then of course, we all know the shortages. I mean, no eggs, no butter, no milk, no, I mean, it was no bread. It was crazy. Of course, no toilet paper. <laughs> that was a valuable commodity. Pull out the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Seniors, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, the Lord said, you can't shut down the groceries. And I thought, all right, we'll keep doing that. And as you know, we were picking up from a couple grocery stores and we handed that out and then we'd get farm share. Well, I, we did a press conference at the community center and uh, a couple people came and talked to me, emergency management and uh, board of health. And some people came and talked about what we were doing here. And they said, I think we can help you. And they got us in touch with uh, Feeding America, which does Feeding the Gulf Coast. And we got fast-tracked and became approved within 48 hours as an official USDA agency. Isn't that crazy? And, and any church can order from Feeding America, but you gotta pay for the groceries. And it's discounted, but you gotta pay for them. And, uh, but if you're a USDA, we're USDA agency 5156, that's who we are. And we got approved within 40, people have applied, they've been waiting six months for approval. We got it in 48 hours. And so it's just God opened doors. And, and so then they said, we're also picking up from grocery stores and we've got some slots open if you want to for day old issues and things like that. And so we are now picking up from grocery stores. I think it's three Walmarts, three Publix and a Winn-Dixie every week and, and getting between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds of groceries a week from these stores. And then from Feeding America, we're getting, I think, Brenda Lee, it's between five and 10,000 pounds a week for those two days. Well, probably 10,000 pounds a week between those two days, 5,000 pounds each day. And we give out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And then when we get a farm share in, that's close to 40,000. So we're giving out 50,000 pounds once a month with farm share. And it, it's just been crazy how it's gone. 
And, and I remember when we first started the regular grocery giveaway, because we were serving hot lunches and we had to stop that. And we were having a service and we stopped that on the Saturday. And, and we figured, you know, we need, just need to give out groceries. And uh, I think it was a Saturday, Elizabeth, you and Emily were here helping with the Saturday. And, and I was there to check on things and it was getting a little crazy. It was getting a little bit wild and woolly. And uh, Brenda Lee Johnson came to me and said, uh, you need some help organizing this? And I said, yeah, and this was back in April. And so she came and helped and Dennis went and picked up the groceries at the grocery stores. And Brenda Lee kind of came into the grocery distribution and she said, you know, I'm good for the month of April to volunteer and help with this. And I said, that's amazing. And then we came to May and I'm thinking we probably need to do May, but I didn't want to take advantage. And so I, I, Brenda Lee and I had a conversation as well. And again, for the month of May, she said, I'm good for the month of May, I can volunteer and help. And so Brenda Lee has organized this with her volunteers that she's put together for two months. Brenda Lee, would you stand? I want to honor you this morning, and I want to thank you for all you've done. You've been amazing. God bless you for all that you've done. It's just been incredible. We could not have done it without her. And her crew of volunteers, if you volunteer, wave at me. If you've been helping out with groceries, I mean, Jean's been doing parking back over here, all of you over here as well. Just incredible. And I wanna thank you for all you've done in helping do that because we are known, not just in Brownsville, but all over the city as the church gives out groceries every week. And, and it's incredible what God's done through this and the lives that we've helped. And, and I've been able to step aside because I've, you know, I mean, I wanna be here for all that, but I, I realized I was burning myself out by coming too much. And she said, Pastor, we got this. And it's just been amazing. And so we've been able to focus on other things. So I'm just, again, just talking through what's been happening and filling you in. So we started the live stream as our only service mode and, and it's worked and yet we did it live and, and the signal would drop and we had issues with quality and so on. And so uh, our tech crew have worked hard. I, I love the one night we were getting ready for Sunday and going through things and something wasn't working in the sound. And, uh, and I've, I've seen this here in Brownsville ever since I've been here that the enemy does whatever he can to stop the preaching of the gospel because he's the prince of the air. And so he works hard to bring us down. And, and we keep working at it. Something was wrong with the sound. And Greg Jones is just new. They've been here, he and Marlene, and uh, his mom, Lucille, and their son, Ethan, have been here for about a year now. And he is a technical guy who helps us out now and just amazing. And he said to Gabe, my son-in-law, who runs the soundboard, and said, have you got this piece of wire equipment? And Gabe says, no. He goes, all right, let's make one. Let's make one. And he pulls out his knife and makes it, and everything works. I mean, it's just incredible. And so these guys have just done amazing stuff. And, and I sat down a couple weeks ago with Steve and with Greg and Gabe separately and talked about equipment. And uh, what has happened is through the live streaming and those of you watching live streaming, we, we're gonna continue to keep the quality and improve it actually. And these are Greg's cameras right now. The ones we've ordered are coming in. The ones we got weren't right. So we sent them back and got another new HD camera coming for all three of these. But we've improved the live streaming, the sound, the visuals, everything has been incredible. And we said we're gonna come back on May 17th. One of the things that we all said in debriefing about what's been happening is we wanna maintain that quality. And so we've stepped out by faith to do that and we need help financially with it. So uh, just again, encouraging you to give and help us with finances. If you can give a little extra towards the equipment, that would be awesome. As Elizabeth and Emily said, you can give online, you can text to give, you can mail it in, or as you leave, there are offering boxes at each of the doors and you can leave their offering there on your way out. Uh, if you're visiting today, we do have a couple uh, visiting from Crestview. Welcome, glad to have you here with us. Uh, fill out the connect card that's in the pew rack in front of you. Offering envelopes are there as well. You make checks payable to Brownsville Assembly of God or just simply BAG. Uh, remember Heather Avery in prayer. Uh, Heather did the worship dance on Easter. She and Stephen are part of the church family and her mother passed away. She'd been taking care of her mom, Joyce Mooring, for the past several years in her home. And she passed away this week. Service will be Wednesday, the 27th of May, a week from this Wednesday. 
Uh, pray for Rhonda. Uh, Chuck's wife had surgery. Rhonda's watching. We're praying for you. Uh, Mary Margaret Martin, she had knee surgery this week. Pray for her as well. Well, before we look into the word, why don't we just look to the Lord in prayer and, and just thank him. Would you just stand with me for a minute and just change position for a second before we look into the word of God and just thank God for his goodness to us and for all that he's done for us. So Father, I thank you for what you have done in this house. I thank you for those who've been faithful in their finances and stewardship. I thank you for those that were faithful in mailing checks and giving online and giving through credit cards and just, just all that good stewardship. I give you praise for everyone here that's here this morning. And again, Lord, I pray protection over this house, for this church family, let your Holy Spirit protect us as a church family. Bless us, watch over us. Station angels around our home and our houses. Protect our children. I plead the blood of Christ over every generation. And I give thanks to you, Lord, for your mercy, your protection, your healing. And we love you, Lord, for everything that you've done in our lives and how you've cared for us. You're playing one of my favorite songs, I know. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, just praise him and thank him. Praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises. glory I give glory to your name oh Lord glory to your name oh Lord for your name is great and greatly to be give him thanks, give him honor, give him praise. We thank you, Lord. You are a great God. Nothing is better, nothing is greater than just being in your house, in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you say amen? Amen, amen. You may be seated. Wow. If you have your Bibles with you, Exodus 15, verses 19 to 21. Exodus 15, verses 19 through 21. And uh, want to talk about a song that Miriam sings in this passage called the Horse and the Rider song. And I promise something for the kids that are watching and the kids that are here. And uh, it is great. I'm going to get Carlos and Elizabeth and Ben to help me, actually, Ben. Yeah, you get to help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get to help. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah. See, Genesis, it takes three of them to replace you. They've got to have three of them here. All right, let's play. You, let's, we gotta, you know what? I'm sorry, we've got to stand for this one more time. So let's do this. I'm sorry. Up and down, up and down. But here, I love it. Let's play it. Let's do it. Come on, Carlos. you got to get up here. Come on. Here we go. Right, beautiful. Let's do it. Here we go. You go over here. Yeah. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. You know this one? Here we go. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, 
Holy be let my people go. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, oh baby, let my people go. It's only two minutes, only two minutes. <laughs> goodness i love you pastor <laughs> what you do to a piece of pastor thank you ben you've never done that yeah you worked up a sweat there <laughs> three verses yeah that's it <laughs> well exodus 15 we're going to talk about pharaoh and the israelites and crossing the red sea verse 19 of the 15th chapter of the book of exodus when pharaoh's horses chariots and horsemen went into the sea the lord brought the waters of the sea back over them but the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel or tambourine in her hand, and all the women followed her with tambourines and dancing. And Miriam sang, and this is the horse and the rider song, sing to the Lord for he is highly exalted, both horse and driver, King James says rider, rider, he has hurled into the sea. So the story of course is this. The children of Israel are in bondage. Joseph has long died and they are subjected to a new pharaoh and slavery, and they're building the, the pyramids, they're just making bricks, and it's just onerous, they're oppressed, and they're slaves. And Moses sees that, and God tells Moses, get my people out of there. Ten plagues later, the pharaoh finally lets them go. They head out between a million and a half, two million, leave Cairo, head south to cross over to the Red Sea, and head over to the promised land. As they stand at the shore of the Red Sea, they hear something behind them. And behind them, they turn around, million and a half, two million of them, look, and there is this cloud coming, and it's from the chariots and the horses of the Egyptians. Pharaoh now has regret for letting them go, and says, go get them and bring them home. Those who don't want to come home, slaughter them. So the children of Israelites realize this. I've kind of had this idea in my mind with, the one and a half, two million, I'm not sure how long a trail that was of people leaving. But you can imagine the ones that were on the furthest end towards the horses going, tell Moses there's the chariots coming, pass it along. And a million and a half later, it gets all the way up to the front of the line. And Moses hears the word that the chariots and horses and Egyptian army. Now the Egyptian army and the nation at that time was the strongest military force in the world in that region. And they're bearing down. So they look in front of them and they see the sea. They can't go that way. They look to their right, there's mountains, can't go that way. Look to their left, there's mountains, they can't go that way. Behind them are the, is the Egyptian army and they're about to be slaughtered. So now they start grumbling and complaining. And they're starting to get angry with Moses going, what have you done to us? 
you bring us out here. We would have been, yes, we were slaves back there, but at least we would have been alive and not just slaughtered in the desert. And they're grumbling and complaining. And Moses lifts up his rod, his staff, and the Red Sea parts. And they walk across on dry land. Amazing. They get to the other side now, all million and a half, two million of them. It actually says a cloud goes back and hides them, and the army can't find them till they all get across. They get on the other side, and they start looking back again behind them, and they see that now not just they were able to come across dry land, but the chariots and the army are now bearing down on them, and they're crossing through the Red Sea, and the sea is parted. What do they do? Same thing again. They start grumbling and complaining. What have you done to us? Why are we here again? You would have been better to have stayed in Egypt. And now we're going to get killed over here because they're coming through. And Moses now does the same thing again. But now he turns around, faces the sea that's parted, raises his rod, his staff again, and it closes and everybody drowns. And that's where they sing this song, the horse and the rider song. That we thought we were done, but God came through. Now what happens is, this song becomes famous. And it becomes an anthem. It becomes a song for the Israelites. Whenever they would get into trouble, someone somewhere would start singing this song. And others would join in. And they would remember. So they're in the wilderness. And they have nothing to eat. And what do they do? They start grumbling and complaining again. We have nothing to eat. It would have been better for us to have stayed in Egypt. And I can imagine them all starting to grumble and complain. And somebody in the crowd starts singing, remember when we were facing the horses and chariots? And they start singing Miriam's song. And someone probably picks up the tambourine again. And they start singing. And it stirs their faith. And God provides manna. And they have food. We're thirsty and there's nothing to drink out here. Grumbling and complaining. They start singing the song. He hits the rock and water comes out. We're tired of manna. Grumbling and complaining. Someone sings the song and quail gets caught in the bushes. And now they have meat. Every time there's a song. This song they sing and it stirs them to faith. That grumbling and complaining, not a whole lot's changed. I was preparing for this message this week, and all I could think of was that movie of Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, Grumpy Old Men. I like that. There they are. I, I love the, the joke of a couple of grumpy old men are in a restaurant having dinner, and one of them complains to the other one, going, boy, the food here is horrible. And the other one complains and says, yeah, and the portions are small too. <laughs> Let's just eat more of that horrible food. You know, nothing's good. Nothing's happening. It's just we're all miserable. We all complain. And, 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 and I've seen it in church and ministry, and we see it when we give out groceries. But what do I say? I tell people whenever we do a farm share, 90% are hungry. 10%, they're just going to be complainers. Don't worry about it. Just God bless you. Here's your groceries. You know, it, it's just something we do. And I, we need to, I, I call that grumbling and complaining spiritual amnesia. Because we forget all that God has done. We forget, we face a crisis. I've been guilty of it, very much so. Where I'll see facing an issue, something's happening and it's horrible. And I'm going, oh God, how am I going to get through it? And thank the Lord, His Holy Spirit will quicken my spirit. And I'll remember all the things that God has done in the past. And it'll stir my heart to faith. And it'll bring about that faith again. We need to deal with that spiritual amnesia and remember the goodness and greatness of God. Yeah. So here's the question I've got this morning. What song stirs your heart to faith? You need to get rid of that spiritual amnesia and remember all that God has done. Remember that song, Ben? Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. Each day he's just the same. I Come on, praise, praise him. Look God what the Lord, Lord has done. done. There we go. We got it. Want to try you it again? It. You got it at the end. All right, let's you do it. it. Yeah. Look, Look what the Lord, Lord has done. done. 
<laughs> look at what the Lord, Lord has done. done. He, he healed my body. body. He touched my mind. He, he saved me just, just in time. time. I'm going to praise his name. Each, Each day, day he's day just the same. same. I'm going to praise him. Oh, look what the Lord has done. So let's look what the Lord has done. Let's remember the goodness. And so the question that I have to ask is, you know, songs have a beautiful spirit to them. They mean more than just the words, don't they? Something happens. Think of the national anthem. I've been in sporting events and they start to play the national anthem. What happens? Everybody stands. Everybody turns and faces the flag or the screen with the flag on it, places their hand on their heart and sings. Well, at least everybody should. And that stirring of that anthem and ending with the home of the brave, understanding the meaning. So the question I want to ask this morning, what is your song? It probably isn't horse in the rider. But what is your song? When I think of Billy Graham, I think of Just As I Am. Thousands and thousands of times singing at an altar call and tens of thousands coming to the Lord. I think of the days of revival here at Brownsville. These are the days of Elijah and Lyndall Cooley singing. Saul would be troubled in his spirit and David would come and sing songs and the troubling spirits would flee. Stan Whitmire, who's been here with Mark Lowry, has some instrumental CDs. And in those CDs, he's able to play. There's one that he calls the whole CD, Shelter in the Time of Storm. And understanding that Jesus is a rock in a weary land. He's a shelter in the time of storm. And we sang that the Sunday after the flood. And Tony and Nancy, your home was underwater. I think we counted up 21 houses in Brownsville Assembly, church family members whose homes were hit and lost. Jerry and Kathleen Dunnigan. I'm not going to start the list, but it goes on and on. And the flood that was there and ravaged homes. And he is a rock in a weary land. I think of the song, How Great Thou Art, and George Beverly Shea singing it. But then I remember the videos I watched of Catherine Kuhlman entering the stage in the auditorium in Pittsburgh and playing How Great Thou Art and the number of times on stage with Benny Hinn and singing How Great Thou Art with Jim Sereno leading the choir and Benny would enter in to How Great Thou Art. It stirs those things in our heart. During my heart issue a year and a couple months ago coming out of surgery and hearing Michael W. Smith's song Surrounded. And now the blessing by Elevation Worship. You know, there's a sound of revival. You can hear it in a song. You can hear it in your spirit. It resonates with your soul. So here's a question I have for you this morning. What song brings your memory back and get rid of the spiritual amnesia? And remember that God will get you through anything. He is bigger than the coronavirus. He is bigger than all these issues. Our God is able. Now we aren't going to be foolish. We're going to be careful. But we're not going to be crazy. We're going to understand God's protection is upon us. For me, the song I remember, the one that stirs my heart, that brings me back to it all, it centers me back in with centering in my heart and spirit that God's in charge is that night in Niagara Falls, New York in a convention center and Marilyn Hickey opened the altar and the worship team came and started to sing the song, I Exalt Thee. First time I'd ever heard it. And as the presence of God fell in that auditorium, Deborah started to weep and we became overcome with the presence and power of God. What is your song this morning? What do you need to sing to stir your faith and remember the goodness and the greatness of God? Take a moment right now and look back on God's fingerprints all over your life. Remember how you walked away from that car crash. I remember when David Padgett called me and Deborah and I were in Tallahassee and had just dinner with the governor the night before. And he's, we were heading on to Georgia for some time in a way. 
He said, Emily's been in a car accident. We don't know how bad it is. You need to come home. And she walked away from that accident. Remember how that loved one who had cancer and they survived. Remember how God sustained you during that season of unemployment. Remember how God healed you. Remember how you had no money and an envelope showed up in the mail with the exact amount you needed. Remember how you had key friends walk into your life at key moments and threw you a lifeline when you felt like you were drowning. Remember that prayer request you had that you thought was impossible and God answered? He has been faithful, has he not? How God has protected you from making a shipwreck of your life. How Remember how God let you grow up in a godly family. Remember when the gospel became real to you and Jesus came into your life and flooded your soul. Go back there. You don't need to camp there. You don't need to stay there. But you need to remember so you can face the future. You need to look back. Not living in the past, but remembering how God got you through so you can face tomorrow. Our God, our God, sees you through. Remember after you served God for a while and things got a little lukewarm and you were hungry for more and then all of a sudden his presence came in. I'm reading a book written by Stephen Olford in 1963 on revival. And as I read that book this week, It stirred my heart again with a hunger for the power and presence of God. Never goes away. You never forget. Let it stir you. Let it remind you. Let it bring back to you. So the question I have this morning, at the close of this service, what is your song? What was the song you heard? Sing it again. Let it revive your spirit. Sing it one more time. Just do me a favor and let's sing this together, Ben. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far us back and remember all that you have done and we give you the honor the praise the glory we magnify we glorify your holy name you are high and lifted up we put you again on the throne of our lives we hunger and thirst for more of you forgive us for our grumbling and complaining and I thank you O Lord that your mercy is new every morning great is your faithfulness Thank you, Lord, for being with us here this morning. Thank you, Father, for answering prayer for each one here right now. Going through a tough time. Bring your presence to bear. In Jesus' name. 
Now, Ben, you know what? I see Tammy here. She's here. Tammy, there's a song you sing. <laughs> yeah, like it's your song. This is your song. Would you sing Waymaker? Yeah. Would that be all right? All right, let's do one more song before we go. Come on, I'm sorry, you're sitting down again. I just, I hate that, but that's all right. We need to stand one more time and let's sing it together, Waymaker. Come on, Tammy. You 
never stop working. You never stop. Oh, never stop. Oh, you are. We make the miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Oh, you are. We make the miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. 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 prayer as we close. He's been teaching online high school math at Pensacola High School finishing up this next week. But let's, uh, let's look to the Lord in prayer as we come to a close. And I'm believing God for answers because he is our way maker. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. God, you are our way maker. And we thank you you are our spiritual worker and we thank you and as we close this service Lord we ask that you would provide a hedge of protection around us as we go out into the world bless us as we go cover us with the blood of Jesus and as we leave we pray God for all those that have been victims of this terrible disease we pray for all the families that have suffered death in this pandemic. We pray, God, that you would continue to lift us up, bless us, and keep us. We thank you that you've allowed us to come back to the sanctuary. There's healing in the sanctuary. Yes. There are blessings in the sanctuary. We thank you for those blessings. Now that we've enjoyed your blessings, give us the strength to go out and be a blessing to somebody yeah. else. We ask it, God, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Can you give thanks to the Lord? Amen. Amen. God bless you. We'll be here next Sunday. Don't forget to come to church. Love to see you. Thank you for watching online, and God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you next Sunday. Promise keep. Light in the darkness